to it, but they worked it out. Leak footage from when Chance the Rapper paid Kanye West to visit in Wyoming has now come out that shows Kanye just going absolutely crazy. Hopefully we can gather some more context surrounding what led up to this as well as what followed. But first, if you could please tap that like button, we would really appreciate your support. And with that out of the way, let's just dive right into today's video. So Chance the Rapper seems like a really nice dude, and that's why it's incredibly baffling to see Kanye West screaming at him like he did in this video. I mean, it's not too off base for Kanye to be losing his temper from time to time, but on Chance, I mean, come on, man. Kanye is currently still working on his Donda album, and this footage has apparently been taken from an upcoming documentary. According to online sources, this footage was taken last summer at Yeezy's compound in Wyoming. In the clip, you can see he's surrounded by several members of his team, as well as 27-year-old Chance the Rapper. There isn't much of the clip available, so let's try to assess what exactly is happening. In one part, you can see that the two are having quite the animated conversation before the film cuts over to another clip of Kanye getting up and yelling at Chance. He then says, sit your ass down and listen to the album or leave. Now, Kanye's longtime business partner, David Dash did offer up some context in some of the clips from the documentary that were online and he tried to explain what exactly went down. In the clip he said, you know my thing is just get rid of the people that are triggering, get them out of here and let's just have fun being creative. Which is part of the reason that Kanye is in Wyoming in the first place. With his easily distracted mind he needs a clear working environment and unfortunately he just wasn't ready to accept help from Chance the Rapper. Chance wasn't even there to work on the album with him. This is right around when Kanye was running for president and so the press was reporting every single meltdown that he was going through. It was all very public and very damaging to his mental health. We know this to be true because after he had an emotional breakdown during his South Carolina rally, he went on a Twitter rampage. He began calling out Kris Jenner and his wife Kim for trying to lock him up. And then on top of all of that, he called in his own paparazzi for when Kim came to the ranch for crisis talks. So with all of this negative press flowing, Chance decided that he would fly out there to be with his friend in his time of need. Which is something that I do not think Kanye West is accustomed to. I guarantee that this guy has been taken advantage of by people in the industry more times than he can count. I mean, he him peeing on a Grammy award was pretty much all the confirmation that I needed to know that this guy is very bitter towards the industry. And rightfully so, I mean musicians have been taken advantage of so much that I imagine he must be on high alert at all times. Kanye's longtime business partner Damon Dash also went on to say in another clip, Chance honestly because of what he was reading he came through just to check Kanye. You know again Kanye deals with his issues at all times. They got into it but they worked it out. Now that line right there of Kanye deals with his issues at all times. Now I know it's not the most socially acceptable way to do things but if someone had a problem with me, I would want them to be upfront about it too. So who knows, maybe Chance was talking while Kanye was trying to focus on his album and he just decided that now was the best time to deal with it. Now because it was all caught on camera, this means that the story is going to be, you know, interpreted into a million different ways to Sunday service. Eh? See what I did there? But the point is that at the end of it all, these two worked it all out. Shortly after this emotionally raw moment, the two were seen laughing together in another clip posted online. And that's the thing that I want people to take away from this story. This is real life getting captured. That stuff you see of these two laughing together on Instagram or, or wherever is only what they want you to see. It's everyone's highlight reel of their best moments of their life, but I think we really need to see more of these behind the scenes moments where artists are just getting really real with each other, like just like this. And I don't know about you, but I respect both Chance for coming down to check on a friend, and I respect Kanye for caring about that friendship enough to be honest with him when he said, sit your ass down and listen to my music or leave. I mean, it is his house and he was trying to work, so it'd be a different story if he had to done this somewhere else. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on the story. Do you think that Kanye went too far with this reaction? Or do you think that there's far more to this clip that better explains what's going on? Either way, let me know how you're feeling in those comments down below. And while you ponder that, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled, Roman Atwood Reveals Why He Quit YouTube for a Year. Caitlin says, these stalkers sound like they just camp outside of the guy's house and just randomly say, oof, newborn baby, let's shut off the power and let them freeze to death. I'd be moving the second it happened. Yeah, I'd be out of there ASAP, but it sounds way scarier. Like, it sounds like they could just track them down anywhere. I really hope these people get caught. This is terrifying stuff. Boo says, I love the multiple first comments. Yeah, I saw that too. At least if you see first, can someone do second and then third and then fourth? That'd be way funnier. Way funnier. JP says, I see why he left. Family matters more than views and followers. It certainly does. Family is real. It's you. It's right there in front of you. Followers and views, you can get that at any time. Okay, I'm, I'm happy that Roman decided to focus on his family. And like I said, hopefully these people get caught. Patrick says, love your videos. Thank you so much, Patrick. Appreciate you watching. Capt Obby says, yes, book list. I'm working on it. I got a lot to go through. Might be some Goosebump books in there. We'll see. That's been today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers. Until next time, stay classy, YouTube.